Hello, this is Start 3D Modeling Channel. In this video, I will show you how to create a part like this in Plasticity. It's a relatively simple part, but based on this simple part, I will show you a few interesting applications of Plasticity. I will create a new project. We will start by creating a circle, with its center located at the origin of the coordinate system. Choose to create a circle, place the center of the circle at the origin of the coordinate system. Then press the tab key and enter 100 mm as the diameter of the circle. Switch to face selection. Click on the area of the circle and the extrude command will be activated automatically. Now add an extrusion of 10 mm, which means press the D key and enter 10. Press the enter key and don't finish this operation yet. Here we have the parameter angle. Press the A key and then enter minus 20 to define the angle of this extrusion. Click OK to confirm. This way we have added an angled extrusion. Next, select this face. Choose the hollow operation. And here we define the wall thickness. We can do this either inward or outward. We will add the wall thickness inward, which means we specify negative values. Press the D key and enter minus 2. Press enter and enter again to finish this operation. This way, we have created such a part. I wanted to show you that we can add extrusions at an angle. I will turn off the visibility of the flat geometry, and now I will create another flat geometry. I will switch to a side view. I choose to draw a rectangle from the center. If this command is inactive for you, press and hold the left mouse button and drag the cursor over this command. Then release the mouse button. Draw a rectangle whose center will be located in this place. Press the tab key and enter 5 as the dimensions of this rectangle. Then press the tab key again and enter 6 here. And then press enter to finish drawing the rectangle. Now switch to vertex selection. Using the selection box, select the four vertices. Press the B key to activate the fillet command. Here we can add chamfers or fillets. Add some radius. The value of the radius can be anything. And click OK. Next, with this geometry selected, press the G key to activate the move command so that we can move this geometry. Move this geometry roughly here. You can specify a move value of minus 4 millimeters and click OK. Now based on this geometry, we will create a hole in this solid. To do this, switch to face selection, select this geometry and drag this geometry so that it passes through this solid. Next, to create a hole in this solid, press the W key and click on the solid where you want to create the hole. Click OK to confirm. Now I will turn off the visibility of the flat geometry and based on this hole we will create a radial array. To do this hold down the Shift key and select all the faces of this hole. OK, we have all faces selected. Now we choose the radial array command and specify the center of the radial array. In this case, the center point of this array will be any point on the z-axis. We can use one of these snaps. Click here with the left mouse button. And now press the shift key and rotate the mouse wheel to specify the number of these holes. We can also enter the number of holes here. Click OK. And this way, we have created such a solid as you can see, demonstrating this took me a few minutes while creating such a solid literally takes several dozen seconds. Plasticity allows for rapid creation of 3D models. It doesn't matter if these are 3D models for 3D printing or 3D models for games and animation. In Plasticity, you can create your own 3D models very quickly.